Good morning and welcome. Uh, thank you for having me here today. Uh, Infinidat. Stephen asked the question. I know a few people here uh, know a little bit about Infinidat, but I'm going to kind of take you through who we are, what it is that we do, how our infrastructure plays a, um, a very critical role in enterprise storage and data center infrastructure as a whole, and how that applies to where things are moving towards AI. Um, there's a lot of, yeah, there's still a lot of confusion. There's a lot of shakeout still going on in the AI world and where workloads are ultimately landing, how they're going to be applied and things like that. But I think we have a, 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 a unique position that's going to give us some advantages based on where we already exist in the data center. So I'm going to tell, tell you a little bit about the company, and then we'll take you through some of the products. We'll tell you a little bit about our hybrid cloud strategy, because obviously with the advent of AI and you know, all of our uh, hyperscalers investing so much in AI and that type of infrastructure, is certainly a consideration. And then at the end of the uh, presentation, we'll take you through how to manage, how we help manage that data, protect that data. And because of all the capabilities and uh, concerns around cyber protection, what we are doing from, a, from that perspective to help protect that portion of the critical infrastructure. So let's take you through the company overview. Infinidat, again, um, is a small, high-end storage, enterprise storage company. We were started in 2011. The heritage of the company comes specifically from enterprise class storage infrastructure. The founder of the company was the founder of EMC Symmetrics, which a lot of people know about. Post that, he created and um, sold XIV to IBM. Then came Infinidat in 2011. So our heritage is squarely in the corporate enterprise data center managing critical workloads. We take our products to market in somewhat of a different way. In many cases, historically, our systems have been sold as full rack scale systems. Now I'm gonna tell you how we're starting to shift away from that to some, uh, to some perspective. But most of our cus customers take our products and put it in their data center in a full rack scale configuration. Now we give them options as to how they consume that, and I'll tell you a little bit about what that all is. But you know, it gives them the flexibility to not have to worry about changes to their infrastructure, even though we do everything extremely seamlessly. Our customers are large. Our worldwide averages show our average customer has 17 petabytes of storage on the floor. Not effective, actual used storage. We have single systems that can scale upwards to 17 petabytes of effective data. So we, again, large scale, high performance, high availability, um, resilience are the core tenets of what we do in the data center and why we're so successful in the data center. We're on a great track. We've been growing. We've been profitable. We're a private company. Right? But the important parts are, is that we manage our business extremely effectively and we develop our products, our services and support specifically for the markets that we address. Our white glove service and support is known around the world and throughout the industry. We really flipped the support model on its head. What a lot of people don't realize is when we are with a customer from that front end to the very last day they might be using our solutions, they have full white glove support. They have technical advisors that are part of their infrastructure at no additional cost. There's one support level that's included with the purchase of the system. There are no uplifts, there's no add-ons. Our systems are sold as a bundled solution. So again, a lot of those go you know, <clears throat> kind of opposite to what a lot of people think about enterprise class infrastructure. We've removed the complexity we're easy to do business with, and we provide solutions that address the specific business needs of the enterprise customers. Our market base is typically the Fortune 2000 type companies. We're installed in about 30% of the Fortune 50. All right, so very, very critical infrastructure. Decisions are being made specifically around our products. Another big area is consolidation. Because of the performance capabilities of our systems, because of the availability of our systems, because of the ease of use, we end up winning a lot of consolidation business 
from existing floor, um, existing um, storage infrastructure. So what does that mean today? When we can consolidate a lot of storage for our customer, it means that we're giving them a better overall greener solution. We're reducing their data center floor, floor, uh, floor print and their power cooling and OPEX, other OPEX costs like storage management. So we do this with a variety of solutions, primary and a secondary storage solution, which I'll take you through. Uh, if there's any questions, obviously, along the way, feel free to jump in and ask. Yes, sir. Uh, quick question to get started. Uh, enterprise storage, um, being not uh, in the US, so Europe enterprise, there is different than here. What's the smallest configuration that we're talking about? I'm going to get to that, but, it, but really quickly, we have small configurations down to 155 terabytes okay. of usable storage. Mm -hmm. okay, That's part of the, the new strategy that we developed and released this past spring. Mm -hmm. Great question, though, right? Because obviously that's always top of mind, right? Are you just big or can you actually scale down somewhat? Okay. All right. So we deliver out very, what we deliver are very positive business outcomes. But that's the whole premise of why we do what we do to provide those enterprises not only with rock solid infrastructure solutions, but something that's going to actually physically make a difference in their bottom line. Okay. And you can see we've had a number of studies done by independent sources, and our paybacks and our ROIs are extremely aggressive. The products, we've been busy doing a lot of different things over the, the last year, especially in what we've recently announced, what we've re-architected in our products. And I'm gonna start to take you through all those different components, many of which were announced this past May in our uh, May 22nd launch. We have hardware products. I'm gonna explain some of our differences. We're really a software company. I'm gonna be very clear as to why we're a software company. Our new generation of that, we have our Infinidat, uh, Infiniverse platform. That's a infrastructure piece of software that's AI cloud driven. We'll talk about that. We have our cloud additions of our, of our Infuse OS operating system. That's our software that runs on all of our core solutions. And we're gonna spend some time at the end, again, talking about our InfiniSafe technologies, which is so important today and how we'd help companies address the threat of cybersecurity and cyber attacks. 